Let's, let's, let's do this one. I'll move up there. So this is a really interesting uh, video from, um, all, I think it's all breaks, no gas, right? Because there's an interesting dot, there's an interesting debate happening in the States now with the coronavirus, you know? There's a group of people out, there's a group of people who just don't believe it's real, right? That's one thing. And then there's a group of people out there who believe, you know, the government were a bit extreme. Um, states should be allowed to independently decide when they reopen. Um, the lockdown was too heavy handed. Um, there's no finishing line in sight. Businesses are going to go, you know, businesses are going to go out of business. People are going to lose their livelihood. Once the economy reopens, there's not going to be any jobs to go back to. That kind of frame of mind. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I really understand it. I have a lot of sympathy towards it. And I kind of, I get it, man. If a lot, of, if, if the majority of people, especially in the States where they don't enjoy the kind of protections or the kind of, uh, rights or the kind of uh benefits that we do here in europe right they don't have 28 day holidays or whatever that amount 21 days that we have here they don't have paid sick leave um the minimum wage isn't that high depending on what state you live in so i definitely understand why some people in the states are really against like having the uh, economy locked down for you know unspecified point in time especially for a virus that seems to be only affecting a certain um percentage of the population you know you can't say it's affecting everybody the same because it's not but it is affecting people of a certain age of a certain medical disposition or certain medical conditions more you know negative than other people so it's definitely definitely within their right to say you know hey what's going on to ask some questions but the weird thing is that the people that we see on media protesting especially the ones that we see in the video i want to play in a minute they're always the whack jobs it's always the people that are just like on the fringes the ones that are just like you know figuratively and li figuratively have like a tin for a hat in their back pocket which isn't a bad thing right you're allowed to con let's be conspiracy first and question what you want to question but it's the ones that operate right on the fringes of things who believe every uh, every and every conspiracy theory that exists um they just subscribe malevolence to everything nothing can just be like you know the fact that nothing can just be like an, uh, an administrative oversight or just you know incompetence it always has to be malevolent it always has to be some sort of sinister ploy to like you know overtake people and take away their rights all this sort of stuff and i don't really understand why they can't why within that crowd of people there isn't one person able to make a salient point a salient clear point as to why they think it's a bad idea to have the country locked down for so long just be able to say it in like a clear way like hey i understand some people are dying but i'm working in the gig economy i'm working in the service industry i don't have any protections my company isn't getting any protections from the government which is affecting me because my job is gone i've been fired i've got a, uh, i've got three kids just say something clearly like that and then protest people will be fairly fine with it but it seems like everybody they see in this video is just a complete nutter and um, i'm gonna play it now for you guys to hear a little bit of it but it's a video by this guy called all gas no brakes and it's filmed um in I washington dc i think during the rallies that happened i think just the other day or maybe a couple of weeks ago i'm gonna play a bit of it now for you guys to hear there boom 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 this guy's already complaining he's got every right so let's go back to the start yeah, it's called uh, it's from coronavirus lockdown protests from all gas no brakes. I got every problem with the government saying we can't go out. It's a prohibition and it's illegal. It's against the constitution. I am immune compromised. I put that at risk today. I put that at risk today because I gotta be here. That's a bold move in being immune compromised and deciding to head out. Um, amongst all these people who are obviously not observing any sort of social distancing the you know personal protective gear is few and far between but jesus christ us are you scared to die but the good thing is that a lot of them don't have there's not a lot of trump waving flags and stuff i think sometimes whenever those flags come up people have i don't know why the evidence is just completely tune it out but people have to support they want to support in it i don't think there's a bad thing but as soon as those flags go up especially cnn and those kind of places they always clip that image and put it up like, oh crazy trump fans are going to be drinking bleach and protesting outside dc like i don't know man no more scared than i am for anything else freedom 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 that, like high on newsom that's gavin newsom i'm assuming one of the gov the governor of new of california i'm assuming right as I say, please don't feed the fears. 
and and that's a legitimate thing that one of them is like obviously batshit crazy but that one on the right is a legitimate placard to hold up in it right please don't feed the fears because most of the news you see online or most you know most news sources even tv they're kind of stirring this pot because it's for them it's generated a lot of clicks right then if they say that every time the news every time kind of mainstream media is about to you know capitulate or uh big publications about to go out of business trump says something stupid they get you know, as a clicks every it pays everyone's salary for the next six months and then suddenly now this come this coronavirus couldn't come at a better time for some of these people isn't it right because what else do they have to talk about with the you know impeachment inquiry gone away there's nothing really to get their teeth sunk into especially with all this stuff about you know joe biden's rape accuser coming out there was stuff that they didn't want to talk about that'll be out in a news cycle so this is perfect for them so there is a legitimate argument to be had about you know are the news media being responsible are they uh, stoking the fears but instead you have this absolute donut with a high old news some banners like what you kind of you might not agree with the guy's politics but are you legitimately trying to say this guy's hitler It's like a nightmare, isn't it? It's like what you imagine. How many? News companies? How many? Well, you tell me. Three, or, three or how four. Many do, how many does Disney own? <laughs> how many? How many? I don't know. Well, maybe you ought to find out. You're in the media, aren't you? Yeah, but I'm independent. You're independent. What? Independent media. Me and this guy. It's called All Gas No Brakes. Your, your badge. <laughs> You're independent. We're independent. You're independent. Of what? Independent media. Oh, God almighty, man. Exactly. What's that say? What's that say? Vaccines are not the cure. What's that say? Vaccines are not placebo safety tested. What does that even mean? Vaccines are not placebo safety tested. Okay, and this sign here says hell have no fury like a pissed off patriot turn america and afford free american they're lying about the death tolls i will take a chance to get a coronavirus whether better than shutting down this economy okay okay there you go that's 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 a fair enough point it's fucking nuts anyway to say but fair enough point isn't it he's willing to get it as long as they're able to recover in the economy, right? Some people are able to. Some people trust the economy more so than they trust the. Some people have more faith in the economy than they do the what medical industry or humanity or their own lives or what camps up. Because sometimes I wonder with these kind of older people, don't they have grandkids? Like, if you're that comfortable with willing to accept the risk for yourself, aren't you also willing to accept risk for your unborn grandkids or your children at least? Because I think the other way around doesn't work. I think if you ask people that are younger about to care about older people, they're not going to happen. They don't give a fucking fuck. I know when I was, you know, 15, if you told me to care about somebody else 21, I'd be like, what? They're going to die tomorrow. I mean, I wouldn't have no caring. So to make, to do it the other way maybe makes more sense. But... Getting on my knees. Yeah, I want you to take the vaccine first, Bill Gates. Okay. I want you to understand. This is China's wet dream to hurt our nation. It's their wet dream. And this is about our liberty, brother. Who do you think's agenda this is? <coughs> Freedom! 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 Prolonged lockdown, basically a slavery. Do you, uh, do you feel enslaved? Uh, I do. I that is nuts, isn't it? That's maybe the... And again, maybe it's, you know, the intention of the YouTuber to purposely, you know, highlight the batshit crazies, but they look like a fairly well-adjusted family i think they are right there's the same kind of ink used on the paper and they look at the standing together the family the dad the mom and kid i don't know and this woman's legitimately saying that prolonged lockdown is like slavery mama mia just beggar's belief really isn't it like again there is a there is a point to be had to, to argue against you know to question why some bits of information will withhold why some you know why maybe the white house didn't react quick enough why didn't trump close all it's another essential travel from other countries coming in blah 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 blah. you know i don't know there's questions to be had about about it you can question some things but to, to ascribe slavery to lockdown is just i'm a type a lawyer and 
I am bouncing off the walls of my living room because I can't go out. California, not communism. Everybody yeah, cough communism. in my face. Do it. Somebody come cough in my face. Yes, <laughs> cough directly <laughs> in my face. Well, yeah, wait. <laughs> no, wait. I never did put on hand sanitizer ever. And I don't ever wash my hands. Can you believe that? Believe it because it's true. In my opinion, we're looking at a seasonal... But the non-washing the non of hands thing, I think a few people mentioned, I saw some news anchor Fox do it the other day actually, um, I forgot who it was, that seems to be a thing you hear a lot of people saying, and there was definitely, when you know the first lockdown started, it was maybe a bit too much emphasis put around you know people washing their hands and shit, it made me wonder, like, it's always like, you know, whenever you see a sign somewhere, you know, in a public space, telling you not to do something, it's usually um, a good indication that somebody else did that before. Right when it says, "Oh, please do not urinate on the walls," it means some idiot decided to piss all over the walls. So there's a part of me that thinks, "Well, there are a lot of people out there just don't wash their hands at any point in time." Now, don't get me wrong. You know, when you're out and you're head drunk and you're going to grab a burger after a club night, I don't expect you to be washing your hands in the toilet somewhere. But generally, day to day, the people just not wash their hands. They just, you know, when they shower, that's just that just counts as a washing of hands. Maybe it's a thing because a lot of them are emphasizing that. And it's really strange thing to kind of gloat about in it like just just because you happen to live in in the western world and you have access to like you know western medicine and you know great health care that you'll be able to get away with this but the moment you get put in a place where you don't have those um you know afforded those luxuries suddenly these kind of these little character flaws or these sort of like um things that you do these habits suddenly get you know punished but and again, he just he just might be a whack job in it, and a lot of these people might be whack jobs because you sometimes think to yourself like, who's legitimately gonna take time out of their day to go to DC and protest? Like really, like who's sane? Who kind of you know has all their marbles? Not many. Um, I probably ascribe that to you know people that maybe leave negative comments on, online. Like who? What? What? What section of the of the public does that re actually represent? Not a lot. It's usually just the, the vocal few who are always online and always connected would probably go to this too because you'd have to find out about this through the internet, right? I'd imagine there'd be some sort of group or some sort of event shared around the place and then you kind of go and turn up and there's a lot of steps that have to take you from being at home to this place. So again, it might not be representative of everybody, but it's just unfortunate that the kind of rational, sane people who have a legitimate questions as to why they're locked down still in maybe states that haven't got as haven't been affected as much are being represented by someone like this right who's like got t-shirt proud to be corona free like he achieved something of worth blue in a bunch of fake death numbers go ahead america touch your face go out and have sex and don't worry about touching anything fucking touch anything and everything it makes your immune system stronger i used to be afraid of raw eggs and raw meat and now i drink raw eggs and i eat raw meat and i have been for years and i'm fucking fine every conspiracy you pretty much ever heard of is all pretty much true 9 11 was an inside job no one's ever walked on the moon the vaccines are poison can you cough in my face Good girl from walking away. See, people are too, they're too scared to even <laughs> off when you ask, <laughs> ask them to. We don't have a civil right to be immortal. If only the healthy people are okay and the people who are at risk get ill, isn't that how it's supposed to be? I, I mean, just look at this, dude. We don't have a civil responsibility to be healthy or to be alive. And just look at him morbidly beast riding a bike with more gadgets and a cruise from sonnet than the fucking action man oh google gadget he's got a bluetooth headset that's from like i don't know what his century that's from a power pack on his phone his phone is plugged into a mount on his bike he's got you know high vis outfit on what's that an accreditation thing on his neck some sort of what like uh public surveying shit just an absolute horror show in it we are teaching fear, not courage. I call it the original name, the 2019 NCOV, because it's not yeah, the SARS. That makes difference. Huh? That's the disease. What we have here, statistically, is <laughs> you've run out of steam in it. Look. Political science. We have to be able to protect our posterity. Pros, pros, 
posterity be invade incentivize yourself to be on jury duties we just need to open the some people just shouldn't be allowed to procreate in it that's just the point of it i think to kind of end that one some people just shouldn't be allowed to have kids you shouldn't be allowed to have kids if you're that dumb um and again it's not dumb because what they're saying i don't agree with it or because you know they don't have a point in what they're talking about but it's just the the inability to articulate their thoughts in like a clear uh pff, logical sense making way it's just bizarre especially when the argument is right there to be had right questioning why some states are still locked down when they're more to, when their fatality rate isn't as high as others questioning how long can they be under lockdown with everything that's going on in the economy questioning will their jobs be around when the economy reopens these legitimate questions that you can't have but instead this guy's trying to stipulate so what the actual name of it is worrying man like imagine that being your dad or something that bloody hell you just don't have any just sometimes just yeah bloody hell